welcome back to all and law this is a medical video lecture microbiology and today in this video we're going to discuss about the recent outbreak that's ebola virus ebola virus we're going to talk about the transmission of how it's transmitted Okay guys, in a previous video we discussed about the pathophysiology, the pathogenesis, how it infects and kills the what you call the important organs of the whole body. It causes the hemorrhagic fever, it's so fatal that 50 to 90% of the patients infected with disease die. So it's a highly fatal. Okay guys, so let's start a transmission, how it starts. First the human, if this is a human. The human gets infected, okay, with the Ebola virus. Let's talk about this. It's Ebola virus, okay? How did the human get infected? So we have to know the natural reservoir, right? The natural host of this, what you call virus. This is Ebola virus. Let me write E V, okay? The natural host of this virus, Ebola virus, is the fruit, not the fruit, it's a fruit bats. Okay? Remember, right guys? These fruit bats and even monkeys also, okay? And other type of what you call animals, land animals are also involved in this. But the most important you have to remember is the fruit bats. And these bats are very common in the equatorial or sub-equatorial Africa. Okay, and are believed to be what you call um, the especially the areas like Jenny, the what you call uh, Liberia, uh, some parts of Nigeria. Okay, so sub Saharan regions, right? So, fruit bat is a natural host. Okay, so what happens this fruit bat, what it does, it what you call it drops the partially eaten fruits and the pulp. Partially eaten fruits, okay, and pulp, right? When the fruit bats, they drop the partially eaten fruits and the pulps, they are eaten by what you call the land animals. Okay? And of course, these land animals goes and infects what you call the human beings this is how it transmitted fruit bats are the natural host of this ebola virus they drop what you call a partially remember the fruit bats if they are infected with the ebola virus they do not produce any disease or they can produce the disease both are possible okay so they are the natural host of this so what happens when they drop the partially eaten fruits or a pulp they are eaten by the land animals and they get infected and when this animal comes in contact with the human being the human being gets infected right this is what the transmission of what you call uh, ebola virus takes place right guys so really very really important now what is about the human to human trans what you call transmission how it is transmitted from human to human. One is through the close contact. Okay. Through the what you call, we call it in two terms. One is a blood and the bodily fluids. The blood and the bodily fluids. Okay. The bodily fluids like saliva of an infected person sweat okay even semen remember semen can if, if a man is infected with what you call the Ebola virus and his semen can transmit this virus what you call to the female partner right and she can get infected and usually this virus lives in semen for nearly 60 days Remember 50 to 60 days they call it as it can remain for that period 
right guys so these are the important and even other what you call conjunctival secretions okay through the conjunctiva it can transmit okay so these are the ways by which the human can be can transmit this virus to another human okay that's why the as a healthcare professional you should take care of what you call the contaminated injection injection equipments the surgical equipments okay and you have to take care of yourself by covering by, by by mask by gowns okay covering whole body even the patient has died even if there is a death of the patient that can also what you call transmit the um, Ebola virus so you have to take care of that that is really very important okay but remember the one point the airborne transmission has not been documented during what you call the Ebola virus outbreaks okay it has not been documented airborne so remember right guys so this is a basic and simple what you call how the transmission takes place that's why you should take care of yourself and you should uh, pass on this message to your friends or your what you call your neighbors your family so that you can uh, take care of yourself okay and you can even you can protect your family persons also right family friends right guys so this is really very important in the next video we're going to talk about what you call uh, the sign and symptoms of ebola virus and uh, and what are the peculiarities of the ebola virus okay guys so let's close this topic thank you so much for watching this video take care